We are in an R-Pod trailer. This is the, the dinette area, the dinette closest to the, to the door. Um, I removed the original uh, breaker fuse panel converter and put in the, the EcoFlow uh, smart panel. And then using this space, which was completely unused before, other than a little bit of wiring at the bottom, um, we mounted the, the main uh, inverter charger combo unit there, the EcoFlow power kit uh, module. There's just enough room there, so it's got a little bit of room for the fans to breathe. I put a little bit of um, ventilation on either side. So you can see those are just return air grills. And then we've got the, uh, the single, uh, I think it's 2000 watt hour, 48 volt battery. And it's sitting on a little platform uh, about three inches up off the floor to allow uh, cabling and everything to go underneath it. Come up the wall here and you've got the control panel. This allows you to see all of your inputs and outputs. Um, so right now it's it's pretty uh, pretty rainy outside so we don't have any solar coming in. But if we click on outputs um, you can we can turn the DC output on and off. And we can also see individually the first six circuits we can turn on and off and we can see how much power draw for each circuit. It's a really nice feature uh, to be able to, to know where your power is going. So right now we can see that our, our main cabin lights are using 17 watts and our entry porch lights are using 9 watts. Um, and we can scroll over to the other circuits and we can individually turn them on and off. So I can... oops. I can turn that off, and that turned off the interior lights, and I can turn that back on, and you can also do that from the phone app. So the phone app basically just duplicates everything that you see here. Uh, there's also a power button um, to either just wake the screen, or, or if you press and hold it, it'll shut the whole system down. So having all of this right by the front door is pretty nice. Um, underneath, underneath here, um, we've got a solar cable going uh, through the floor and making a connection. Um, it goes underneath the floor and makes a connection over by the axle on the driver's side. Um, the factory uh, solar ready wire uh, comes from the roof down through this panel here and, and out and then starts running forward to the, to the battery at the tongue of the trailer. So I cut the wire, intercepted it, rerouted a wire uh, that comes up and goes into the unit there. Um, on the note of the, of the battery at the front of the trailer, um, it is basically isolated from, from everything. The only thing it does is run the, the, uh, the electric tongue jack and the uh, electric uh, brakes if, if, if the, the breakaway were to be triggered. Um, uh, so it'll, it'll do that and it'll charge off of the, the seven-way plug uh, going to the vehicle. So um, so that's it. It's a lot of stuff in a very tight space, but incredible how many, how many features and abilities we have all built in here. We've got uh, an inverter, a uh, charger, transfer switch, uh, multiple... MPPT charge controllers, uh, DC to DC charging. Um, if, if this were in like a, a van or something with an al alternator uh, on board, um, and all 48 volt plug and play, really, really an incredible system. Um, my my only complaint is that the uh, the um, smart panel here is is a little tight. Uh, to get very, very much wiring in there. Um, but really great system. Super powerful, super compact, and and just love the user interface. Um, being able to see 
see where you're at with everything. It's just really nice. And last thing is we've got solar panels up on the roof, which are right at the front. Pretty hard to see them from down here, but but they're there. 300 watts of flexible panels right right above the right above the logo. Thank you much.